Hi, my name's Mac. I'm just an ordinary guy who used to work for the gas industry until I finally quit because of all the crap that I saw and all the cover-ups and spills that go on that you don't ever hear about. I'm standing in a beautiful place right here. How long it's going to be here, I have no idea. These people are going to kill us all. As as a young man, I started in this industry trying to uh, do a good job. And it's not as safe as everybody would like, like it to be. What I wanted to show you in this clip is on Highway 77 in West Virginia. It's just beautiful country, just meandering through the mountains. And when you see this, this will really bring it home to how deadly this stuff is and what this stuff is capable of doing. I think there's a gas something up there. industry was like it is, but it's killing things. It's actually hurting us. It's actually going to a place there nobody can really understand why or how it's speeding up, but it's speeding up too fast. What I want to show you now is a compressor station in the middle of a farm field that on a beautiful sunny day, when you look at this, there's nothing to be scared of, but watch now when I put this under the FLIR forward-looking infrared lens and you see all this stuff coming out of these pipes, all these organic compounds, airborne compounds. This stuff is radioactive. There's barium. There's... Oh my goodness, there's just so many radioactive compounds coming out of here and it, when you really see all this smoke that it's emitting that you can't see under the naked eye, this stuff is so yeah, deadly, even small exposure no, will cause severe issues with your health long term, even if you got too close to it, it could kill you. The first two years of any well is about the max production you're going to get out of it. And it's funny because you won't get a royalty check till after that, sometime after that. This is a Ponzi scheme. The investors, these Texas investors who invest in this, who punch these wells, get their money first. Then when you hear landowners saying, well, I got $2.98 for a check, that's why. Once you sign that lease, they own you. They can do what they want. They will do what they want. You have not a leg to stand on. And that's just the way it is. That's the reality. Whatever we did in that company was the law of the land. And that law of the land, you know, all it was is to contaminate the soil whatever we needed to do at that point in my life. We just needed to get that hole drilled. That's why we drill baby drill. The next thing I'd like to show you are the compressor stations. They look pretty, pretty subtle. They look pretty docile. They're all around your areas. I want to show you what they look like when they go, when they blow up. Uh, these are very deadly. Uh, there's just so many VOCs, volatile organic compounds that are released through the pipes and well I just want you to see what they look like when things go wrong.
you think. They will destroy your land, your water, your way of life, your neighbors. It's a boom and bust cycle. When they're there, it's great. When they're gone, you go back to just what you were before, but you have a toxic mess that you have to clean up because they're gone someplace else, doing it again. I've been on a rig that's taken a life. And that mourning process of the due process is kind of um, mechanically wrong because it was a friend. And they just threw him off to the side and it's business as usual. I see so many people devastated by what they've done. So many people destroyed, devastated, sick, broke. Their houses are worth nothing. They try to sell. How are you gonna sell a house? You got bad water. They won't give you a mortgage. They won't do anything with you. You have a worthless shell because your water's bad. And then if you have to get water brought in with water buffalo, it's about $4,000 to get set up. But if you sign the gag order, if you sign the gag order and you promise not to say anything and not to talk, the gas company will gladly come out and build you a water system and will deliver you water. What they don't tell you is only for a short time. Then they just cut you off. Now it's time for me to change from the gas fields and get back to my roots. This stuff is not staying here. They even want to bring these deep tankers offshore so you can't see them loading it. All up and down the east coast and west coast, they want to set terminals up where they can export this stuff. The heavy oil sand tars in Canada right now, they want to cut a lot of the forest out so they can extract it and get it to market. And guess where it's going? It's going to China. It's going to Japan. It's going on the open markets because it's a commodity that's traded. This stuff is not staying here. It never was going to stay here. Again, that's just part of the lie. You know, somebody said to me, Mac, is there any safe way to frack? I said, yeah, there is. Just don't do it. We need your and your support to come together. If not, the little ones that you're looking at right now have no future. So we've seen in this industry tear the lives apart, good and bad. You know, the good times, the bad times. But right now I have to return to my roots of my people. Time to change. Crossroads are here. Oh.